Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Today we are checking out RimWorld. I love this game. Uh, Steam tells me I got about 250 hours uh, in this game, so I have devoted quite a bit of my life to it. Now I do have the royalty DLC going as well. I do not have any mods, but we can add mods as we go and uh, as we progress we might start a new colony and uh, go from there. So let's start with the crash landed scenario and we're gonna go easy since this is the the first time i'm recording this and i haven't played this game in i think it said about six seven months so i want to relearn the the bits and pieces of it and we'll start with uh phoebe community builder so we'll get a little bit of um actually we can go to adventure story um yeah we'll get a little bit of combat mixed in here but it's mainly going to be building our base and i want to reload any time in case i have issues recording Ooh, and i like that seed name nuke all right, so let's generate our world here. Now, if you've never played RimWorld before, it's very similar to games like Dwarf Fortress or um, things like that. All right, so here is our world nuke. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different biomes. There's lots of different cities or settlements we can visit. There's friendly settlements. There's government settlements. There's friendly natives. There's unfriendly natives. There's pirates, these skull and crossbones here. So let's find ourselves a place to, to settle down. I usually like a road in the mountains uh, for my my starting starting um, location. So let's see, what do we got here? Year-round growing, that's what I usually look for. Near some friendly settlements on a road. Let's see if we can spawn here. No, we can't because we're a little close to that tribe. Okay, okay. Um, How about... How about over here? Year-round growing, large dirt road, large hills, some granite and some sandstone. Uh, yeah, I want to stay in the rainforest, not the swamp. All right, let's do here because then we got friends down here and a lot of friends over here. All right, I like that spot. All right, I'm going to randomize till we get a male. Here we go. Um, that I kind of like. Do, 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 because this is going to be our hero to tooth bud. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. Uh, I don't know how tough and wimp go together, but this will be our fearless leader tooth bud. And his middle name will, or his name he goes by will be tooth. All righty. And then let's just take a quick peek at the other people we're getting. And I'm going to randomize them twice. One, two. All right, and then let's randomize this person twice. One, two, and uh, here we go. Here are our people, and let's uh, jump on into the game. So it's going to take a second here to load up the map. That's okay. I will probably cut all this out. All right, we are going to crash land here. The three of you awake in your cryo-sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. So we got Tooth, Paramedic, and Agent. And these are going to be our people. And let's take a quick peek at our map, and we're going to pause here. We got a fairly large map. We got some uh, Rhino down here. Hello, Rhino. What else do we got? We got our um, religious tree here. We're not going to mess with that. We got, looks like some ruins we can come and explore. We could, and we probably will take that as our living area. Some more graveyards over here. Looks like plenty of resources, plenty of area to grow. Actually, you know what? I like this because we can wall it off here and kind of here and here. And this is going this square here is going to be our living area. All right. So let us. Tooth, you're going to equip the, he's got three shooting, no shooting, 11 shooting. Okay, so actually, Agent is going to equip the survival rifle. Rifle. Tooth is going to pick up the revolver. And Paramedic, I guess you can, oh, he can't even equip the plastic steel knife. Okay, that's fine. Um, so then let's go ahead and get them going. And then let's go ahead and build up some structures here. And we're going to start simple uh, with a nice wooden door here and a wooden wall there. And then we will also put 
a door here. And then also we're gonna kinda square this off like that with a door there. All right, so this is gonna kinda be our starting area. And we need to go ahead and give them the work order to chop down some trees. As you can tell, I'm kinda clicking around a little bit remembering how to play. All right, so they should get to work chopping those trees down here so we can build a little, uh, little area that's out of the weather if we need it to be. We're also going to create a, just a general, here we go, general dumping zone. So let's do that as our dumping zone so they can start to move things in there as we uh, get going here. We need to get our medicine inside, the flak vest inside. Oh, we got all this wood we can use. Make sure we allow them to use this metal. Uh, what's going on? Oh, he's puking because he's probably sick from the crash landing. That's okay. All right, and then let's turn the flak pants on as well. This should all be turned on. Plastic steel helmet. Okay, there we go. We'll turn our speed up here a little bit. And they're going to start building the walls. Now, they can botch the construction, as you see. So then they'll have to come back and rebuild it. They do waste some resources. Tooth. Our fearless leaders putting some roofing over our head. Very nice. So now we at least have a little bit of shelter to to protect ourselves from the, the elements. Let's get down, put down some sleeping spots. And we'll two, three, so at least we can sleep in there. And then we'll put a I think there's a campfire. Here we go. Let's put a campfire in here as well. Just so we have a little little warmth in there. There we go, they're gonna build that. Um, and we're going to start by smoothing some of the stone just to get that added benefit. I know it's gonna take a long time, but I want that extra bonus for the, and it improves their construction a little bit. Eventually what we'll do is we'll probably carve our way into this mountain and put some bedrooms, things like that. What do we got here, is this emeralds or jade? Jade, nice, and we got plenty of iron, got some components we can dig out. So we are set up pretty well here. Um, I want them as anyone allowed to haul? Yeah, they all can haul. So why aren't they moving the... Oh, yeah, you can move the foods and that in there. So let's just do a lot of all for now. Get some of this stuff protected from the, the outside elements. All right, Tooth is smoothing the floor up. And let's uh, let me show you the... So it's negative one for on smooth four, but positive two. So we got a three point swing uh, when we smooth things. So I want them to work on that for a little bit. All right, we got our stuff mostly inside. I think I'm gonna have to expand that zone just a touch. So let's go dumping stockpile and we'll give it another row there. All right, so they are getting a negative bonus for sleeping on the ground and sleeping next to each other. So like I said, we'll start to carve out some bedrooms over here in a second once they wake up. So let's go to, here it is, needs. So awful barracks, which again, we're kind of improving. Unsightly environment, sleeping on the ground, slept in the heat. It is, I guess it is kind of warm in there. It's 82 degrees in there. And eight without a table. So we'll build a table over here that we can put some chairs next to. So let's actually go ahead and do, we'll do the table and chairs next. So let's order that to be mined and that to be mined. And we'll put our table and chairs here. So let's go to furniture. And as you can see, there's quite a few things you can select from. There's different beds, there's animal beds, there's a dresser, end tables. Here's our normal tables. So we're gonna start with just a table right here. And then we'll put down two wooden chairs here and here, there we go. And then let's make sure we've got these surfaces designed to be, or designated to be smooth. All right, now we have a spot for them to eat. So that is good. I'm going to turn on construct for these guys too. Um, just since it's mainly smoothing, that'll kind of help get things moving and there's no worry about them failing a building check or anything like that as we smooth. So again, we're inside, so they're not outside in the rain, so that's nice. That protects us. They don't get that debuff for being outside. So this is uh, the boring part where we watch them do all the smoothing. 
Let's actually put some crops in the ground. We'll go to zones here in a growing zone and we'll make just a five by five area and let's grow some rice. There we go. We'll grow some rice. I think, let's see here, grow. We'll turn on grow for both of them and plant cut for both tooth and paramedic. Um, and I'm going to take paramedic off constructs so he can get the rice in the ground on this next day. Food is very important, obviously, as you guys know. Uh, we want to make sure we feed our people, our Rimworldians. Um, we've got 35 survival meals, and so that'll last us a little bit of time, but we want to make sure we get some food in the ground soon. Uh, you know, there's berries we can harvest over here or gather over here, and there's probably several over the map. All right, needs defenses. So we should start thinking about how we're going to defend our base because uh, we will be attacked eventually. Pirates or tribal people will come through. For security, we just start off with sandbags, um, some barricades, just wooden barricades, and then spike traps. And then there are different, you, know, you can make it out of steel. As we progress, we can make it out of other things. Barricades, same thing. Sandbags, I thought you could make out of other stuff, but I guess not. Um, so Paramax getting that rice in the ground. That is good. Chop down a tree so he can have a little bit more room. So let's just click on the rice here. You can see it's already 7.3, 8.1% grown. So rice is the fastest growing plant. I don't think it gives you the most yield and it's not the most nutritious, but it is food in their stomachs. So I think eventually what we'll do is probably build a line like this and just wall this whole area off, like I said, and then we can kind of dig this a little bit out there. All right, so we got the rice in the ground. They're smoothing things out. See, things are already looking a lot better in there. Let's go ahead and order up some mining. So I'm thinking, so we want to keep this as intact as possible. Uh, and I'd like at least two, two units between, two, two wall pieces between the outside and them. So we got some visitors coming in. We can go meet them in a second. So let's just start by a five by five room here. And we'll do the hallway right here to start. And then if we keep building this way, that'll only leave one. So we can always just build a little bit here to reinforce that if we have to. All right, so paramedic did a little bit of mining for us. That is nice. There is our friend. Let's grab agent here and can we trade? I guess she doesn't have anything to trade. If we wanted to, we could kill her and take her stuff, but we don't want to take that negative um, relationship with the uh, her tribe, the Tasca tribe. So we will let her be. Looks like we got a lot of our smoothing done, so that's good. And let's cancel this one because they can't smooth that. We'll cancel these ones in the corners so they're not trying to smooth those. All right, she is leaving. Goodbye. Thank you for stopping by. Wish you would have brought some stuff to trade, but that's okay. All right, so paramedic should not have the debuff um, for sleeping, or excuse me, eating on the ground because we built the table. Uh, so now we're going to start working on getting rid of mediocre barrack and sleeping on the ground. So what we'll do is we'll put dig out these rooms and put beds and doors, and then we'll smooth out the rock and just overall improvements for everyone. All right, so... Let's, yeah, tooth, there you go. Smooth those walls, bud. Where'd our other guy go? There he is, he's just out for a walk probably. Yeah, relaxing, carrying that bold action rifle. He's gonna start smoothing that for us. Good news is, things like the steel slag we can leave outside because it doesn't decay or anything. You know, if we left our, our medicine, you can see it went from 60 to 58 health. Um, surviving wheels didn't take any damage. Wood will take damage if it's left outside for a little bit. Uh, steel obviously doesn't have health. Um, our pants and that would have taken damage. Silver doesn't take damage. So you just got to be careful. Make sure everything is... Oh, we got a mad rat coming our way. So get our first taste of combat here. So actually, paramedic, since you won't... You're a pacifist. We don't need you. Where is our mad rat? Jump to location. Okay, so there he is, and we'll have these two guys. I activated their I drafted them so they're in combat mode and they're gonna come here and when this rat comes our way there he is let's start shooting at the rat 
All right, they are horrible shots. There we go, and they killed it. So we will take them off the draft. Um, if we wanted to, we could. So let's see, how did it die? The rat expired. Agent's bolt action rifle bullet shattered the rat's body into a fine mist. So there's not much left of it. Um, as you can see, the, the bullet took out most of its um, body. So we could butcher that if we wanted to, but I think I'll just let that rat go and it will decay and maybe our cat will eat it or something will eat it and we'll leave that be. All right, so paramedic is still digging and here is the, the priority screen where you can tell people to do things, not do things. Um, if we switch over to manual, we can give priorities, uh, you know, do this first and then if you're done with this, you can do that. But we'll just stay with the check mark system for now. Um, let's turn on mining for everyone else again we're just mining some uh was this granite granite so i'm not too worried and i'd like to get these rooms built as quick all right back into the game sorry about that oh our fire went out so we'll have to add some firewood to that but we probably won't add any of that because we want the the room to cool a little bit um here you could build or cook simple meals you could burn things uh like drugs if you have someone that has a chemical dependence and you don't want them to be doing their drugs so you could always burn that type of stuff. All right, they're sleeping away here. And you can see those, the, the red Z's is when they're being, um, their sleep's being disruptive and they don't like that. So again, that's why getting these individual rooms with beds will greatly improve their mood. Uh, schedule, you could say, um, you know, the gray's anything, they can do whatever they want. Blue is sleep. We could add meditate if we wanted. We could add work so they'll do their jobs. We could do recreation. So actually, speaking of recreation, let's go to um, recreation. Here it is. And let's just build a horseshoe tab or um, horseshoe pin. So that gives them something to, to entertain themselves with. There we go. It's simple, and they could uh, throw the horseshoes at it. So let's see if one of them comes and does that here soon. All right. And then we have our cat. We haven't met our cat yet. Oh, we get to name it. All right. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Agent thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? We will be the Tooth Alliance, because I like that word, Alliance. Tooth Alliance. Agent also thinks you should give this settlement a name. What should this local settlement be called? Um, Trinus. Uh, let's go. We'll go. Scrubland. Uh, all right, so we are the Tooth Alliance, and I want to get rid of that extra space. There we go. And we are living in Scrubland. Very nice. All righty, folks. I think that's a good place to start. So we crash landed. We survived that. We got a, a little bit of a base of operations set up, uh, and we named our settlement after we killed the dangerous, dangerous, dangerous rat. So thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Don't forget to like the video, comment if you want to see me play others, maybe add some mods to, to RimWorld. Uh, I certainly love RimWorld and would be more than happy to do that. And lastly, please subscribe to the channel so you're getting all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. And most importantly, thank you for stopping by.